Jenna Lash is a radio show host and the national spokeswoman for the National Rifle Association, and she joins us tonight. Um, you saw those clips. You've been awake in America for the past nine months. Do you think that the left is very different from what it was two years ago? And do you think they're ready to lead the country if they succeed in eliminating the president from office? Well, Tucker, thanks for having me. It sure does feel different, doesn't it? It, yes. it feels way differently than it used to. I, I get the sense that, and this is what really troubles me, There, it, you mentioned tribalism. There are people on the left who are so tribalistic, Tucker, that they're not willing to admit what is truth. They want to be right. They prioritize being right, prioritize winning an argument over what is true and over what is correct. And we've seen this just in the clip that you've played. We've seen this over and over again. It seems as though they take personal offense whenever you point out this, what you're, what you're pushing, what you're promoting, simply doesn't add up. That's a problem because we should never get to the point where we're more for a tribe than we are truth. And sadly, these individuals, they seem to be so triggered about it, to use their terms, that it does push them to the point of violence. Violence is not civil discourse. Well, no, violence not. is not reasonable discourse. It's the last refuge of the coward. It is the last refuge of the person who cannot make their argument intellectually. And that's what we're seeing from a lot of those people, particularly on the fringe on the left. I agree. I think we've seen that for, I mean, here's what I think has changed. There always have been wackos on the fringes of American politics ready to take up arms and hurt other people right. in the name of whatever cause they're for. I get it. But what I, I am shocked by is that the leaders on the left haven't said anything about it. And when you press them, you know, is it acceptable right. to shout down a speaker, to smash door windows, to take to the streets, in way, you know, block traffic? I mean, those are acts of violence. They will not condemn them. That's different. No, they won't, and that's shameful. And, and, by, and for all of the individuals and some of those people on the left, I see them on social media, Tucker. I know you do, too. You, you talk about them on your show. I've seen you debate them on your program. These individuals that say, well, you know, I guess we'll take up arms because we didn't get our way in the election. So they think that's going to be easier than going out to the street and changing hearts and minds. What a lazy response. They can't go out to vote, so what makes them think that they're going to be able to win some kind of conflict? It's insane. And elected officials need to be able, they should, they are required. It, it, is, it is their responsibility to be able to control the passions of their side and say, you know what, there are better ways to go about this instead of ta attacking people when they're on college campuses or attacking people in the street because you don't like the inauguration or for damaging property. That's, that's, th th they should be... They need to be more responsible for the passions, Tucker, that they are inflaming on their side. Yeah, because these are not partisan points. And by the way, I'd like to see leaders on both sides in the Congress make an articulate defense of basic American values. First among them, freedom of speech. Right. Right. You have a right to say what you think is true, period. There are no hedges on that. Hate speech is not a, a legal category. That's all a lie. Someone to stand up for that and the right of people to do that without fear of violence. I don't hear anybody saying that. And why is that? That's a great question. I mean, I, I hear people who are on the right side of the aisle saying it quite frequently. Okay. I know people like you say it, people like me say it. But on the left, though, Tucker, I mean, really, for instance, Maxine Waters or the people that you just spoke to in the clip that you played right uh, at the beginning of this segment. What is so wrong with saying, you know what, violence is unacceptable? If we see violence on our side, uh, because they always said, remember the Tea Party, they always said the Tea Party was so violent. If we were to even ever see anything like that, which it didn't happen, we would have called it out because that's not what we're about. About. The left needs to figure out what they are about. And Tucker, we're rolling towards 2018. We're rolling towards 2020. Right. Voters already told these people, the fringe, look, we don't buy your identity politics. We like jobs, trade, manufacturing. Can you people please get back to the point? That's what their base told them. They're still not doing it, Tucker. They don't, they don't believe it. I think that's it. I mean, if you have Maxine Waters who's endorsing racial violence, which she explicitly did, after the L.A. riots, and she becomes a folk hero. I mean, that's that's a huge red flag, I think. Dinalash, thanks all for joining yeah, us. That, yeah. It was great. I agree.